Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. All right, the rain has been falling. This is my rain gauge right here. I don't know if you can see that closely. Uh, that is 1.08 inches of rain fallen from this storm event, which has basically been over the last 24 hours. And so this is southwest Boise, and the, the rain amounts have been just amazing. It's 49 degrees right now, and it was 48 most of the day. As I mentioned yesterday, it would be a cold, wet day. It certainly has... I have a handful of all day rains since I have been here since the early 90s. And this has been one of the wettest days that I have certainly seen. And for many people are saying, I don't remember raining this much. Look at this 1.7 inches of rain and the rain gauge there from Brian Nance in the last 24 hours in Middleton. And this was again a little earlier this afternoon. Dina Hollowell setting in this photograph of Indian Creek and Caldwell is very full, she said. So keep in mind, as I mentioned last night, the small creeks and streams rise uh, with this and the water will stay high even after the rain lets up. We're still getting rain. It is letting up a bit, but just keep that in mind. This was a tweet sent out by Boise Police Department near the connector. They were having a problem with water over the roadway. So pretty much wherever you go, if you see water on the roadway, you just may be the first one on the scene. You're not supposed to cross any moving water, even over a roadway, because you don't know if there's been undermining uh, underneath the roadway. You're not quite sure what it can be like. So try to find an alternate route, and then you can uh, call the police to let them know that uh, there's water in a particular spot. These, these again, are the 24-hour the rain totals as of about uh, 2.30 this afternoon. A bullseye in the Western Valley in Payette County, as I mentioned, Payette and Canyon County, about an inch and a half. We just saw Middleton at 1.7, a 1.7 at BSU in the rain gauge, an inch. And again, in southwest Boise, Nampa at 1.07. These are some epic rain totals, a one-day record rainfall for the Boise airport. It was 56 hundredths. And it's 92 hundreds and still climbing here as rain continues to fall. The chance for rain, watch that line drop for Thursday morning. No rain, but in the evening around eh, 6 o'clock or so, we have a chance of some showers coming in. So I don't want to, you're going to see a chance of rain for the day tomorrow, but it won't be a day like today. We'll actually have some sunshine tomorrow. And because of all this moisture, some low clouds and some fog forming, photographers get ready could be a real pretty morning tomorrow. 50 degrees in Boise at the airport. Wind is west at 12 miles per hour. The humidity is high indeed. I've got 90% at my house. 50 degrees in Boise, 44 in McCall. It is damp. It is cold. If it stayed 48 today, that would have tied a record cold afternoon for Boise. That's how close it was. Running forecast for tomorrow. Watch out for a little bit of fog in the morning. Poor conditions early on, maybe because of the chill in the air. Fair conditions good from 9 to 11. The wind will be light. It'll be chilly. And then this a chance of showers popping in later in the day. Doppler radar still showing light rain. It's a light, steady rain in many places. Eagle, Meridian, and Star. Uh, there's some breaks in it, as you see in Canyon County. It seems to be drying out in Payette County as well. Heavy rain pushing to the east of Mountain Home. That continues. There's more rain over Malheur County. Not sure if that will make its way on in. As the flow continues, though, we have a chance for scattered showers. Huge circulation around that low pressure from Montana to Oregon all rotating around us. And once this storm system exits, we have another one that's going to drop in for a chance of showers tomorrow evening. So keep that in mind. McCall was wet today. Look at the latest picture showing the rain over Payette Lake, 44 degrees. Here's midnight, the rain tapering off dry conditions tomorrow. It'll be damp out. A chance for showers tomorrow around maybe four or five o'clock and maybe a thunderstorm about eight or nine o'clock. And then on Friday, a partly cloudy day as well. From this point on, Maybe another tenth of an inch of rain, although there could be a half inch of rain in those higher elevations. My Idaho New 6 Treasure Valley forecast from fog in the morning and then sunshine early, clouds later in the day, still chilly at 57 with a chance for some showers coming in during the evening tomorrow. They'll come in in the afternoon in the mountains, so keep that in mind with snow above 7,000 feet. Stanley Sun Valley, late day or evening showers are possible after clouds increase. My Treasure Valley extended forecast only the 50s the next couple of days and over the week. Weekend. We're probably only going to be in the 60s, but Don, it will be drier this weekend. Wow. Okay. Thanks, Scott.